Ah, okay, said there was a problem verifying the package name in uh, Google Play. Don't bother about this since we haven't uh, uh, submitted our application to Google Play. We are just about to develop. Let's use this package name. Click on this button. Okay, it takes you down to your key arches. This is where you actually need to uh, to include the ashes that you generated from the uh, the command prompt. So it said to ensure the intensity of the interactions. There's a development key ashes that you have to provide, or if you have has already been published, you must add a hash of your release key. No, it hasn't been published, it's still on the development process. So we add it to the development key ashes where you save your hash. Just scroll down to where I saved it. I saved mine in my uh, notepad. You copy it, you paste it in here. Okay, that's fine. You click on your next the app events okay this is just trying to give you a demonstration on how to use some of the methods in uh, the course of the application the on resume and on pause we actually don't need it we need the facebook login not the share now we need the facebook book login sorry for that okay this is the code which you can use in your Facebook login. You can go through that yourself. Okay. So we're finished up. That's all. With this, you are good to go. You can use the SDK now fully in the course of your application. Um, quick one. You will need your app ID, which is which is quite important. Okay, on this drop down menu, you click on Intuitive to get your app ID. Once you have your app ID, this app ID is quite important for you because we will have to take this up into the source code and we build up for the uh for the login you have some other functionalities too which you can see earlier on the share and some other widgets that you can actually incorporate in your application use facebook it's quite good so in our second lecture i'll put you through on how to develop the full framework and how to actually make the login of users into your application go through the Facebook authentication and verification uh, stay on the channel and look out for the second part of this tutorial thank you very much for listening I'll see you at the second page bye bye Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Delare Studios. You're welcome to another episode of uh, Android Programming. We'll be looking at the concluding part of the Android Facebook integration, the login integration into your application. Uh, after the, in the first uh, part, we were able to get our hash key from the developer uh, console of Facebook. Now you will need the app ID in the course of this tutorial. But firstly, I will go to our Android Studios, which you are actually looking at now. And um, we will look at the Build Gradle, the app module of the Build Gradle. That's the first uh, module we're going to look at. If you look at the dependencies, we have the file tree, the compile, come Android support, the app compiles, okay. We have the Facebook Android SDK 4.7.0. That is very, very important. And the Square Up Picasso 
that's also is very important these are dependencies these are libraries that will be used in the course of the development of this application now we go to the strings um the string um xml it always sits in the values the strings xml this declares the you know the necessary the necessary string usage in the application we have the app name which is intuitive and the facebook app id you have to place your facebook app id into that column so we have to pick up our app id from the text editor where you saved it earlier i copy that out i move to my id i paste the app id into that particular portion so let's move on we'll move on to the android manifest let's look at the manifest let's see which is just like the control panel of the application the android manifest um there is a portion which is very very important the permission the android permission internet we need the internet to call to do the http call of the login and also the verification and the reply the internet permission is quite important the metadata which is the sdk application id if you notice the value of the app id populates around where the the space is being uh, yeah, they, they, if you look at the strings there's a facebook app id this app id goes round in the application where we have the portion for the app id okay now we we'll look at the home fragment which sits which holds the fragment of the application is in the layout folder the home fragment okay is trying to bring us bring up the user interface but let me go to the text okay this is the relative layout if you're from now with eczema the text view which i uh, as the id of the tv name there's an image view from the ic launcher the mip map ic launcher we have the button which actually depicts logout no it's a logout button after that we were going to look at the android facebook activity java class it's right in a java class you can see it right now the android facebook activity java class you know you create a class android facebook activity and initialize the facebook sdk inside the on create as you can see view before you set the content view you initialize it inside the on create the sdk initialize as you can see before you now set the view to the activity main layout is that correct now we go we, we're gonna look at the login fragment the login fragment java class let's go there quickly we have some imports right there we have the facebook access token the facebook token tracker the callback manager and so on these are facebook library calls now let me collapse that now you're going to create a class login fragment inside the on view created method register for click invert for login button you know the login button field has been declared okay and you call the register callback the callback sorry for that on create okay you call the register callback the facebook callback method on login button you know instances as you can see you know the register callback method takes two parameters the callback manager and callback okay now 
the, in the uncreate the callback manager which I mentioned earlier okay and we have the home fragment you know the home fragment actually handles the the home um, fragment XML holding the profile of the login user you know we have the on activity result and the on activity result method is writing is a method inside the method call it calls the on activity result method on callback instance mm. on callback instance the on resume on activity result as i was saying this method calls the on activity result method callback instance okay we're going to create an instance of facebook callback and override the on success on error and on cancel method no on resume on success on error and on cancel method this is it on success on error and on cancel method these are going to be overridden you know inside the on success method we will make call to a home fragment this method will redirect to home fragment you know as you can see we make call to the home fragment that actually redirects to the home fragment okay that's that in the login fragment let's quickly look at the um let's look at the the home fragment now the home fragment the home fragment you know you know it's uh it's a landing page that actually under the successful login you know is you create an uncreate view and on activity created method this method holds on to the fragment of the call now the profile the get name of the user is being attached to the welcome message which sets the text to welcome the profile name you know it gets the name of the of the, of the user you know there is a picasso picasso is used to loading picture is a library that very that enables the loading of picture the url picture from uh a remote host now the logout method actually handles the logging out of the user on each session of logout and the fragment transaction commit is being attached to that okay all right let's run this application you can get the source code from my github account if you feel uh, my my explanation is not very explicit enough leave a comment in my uh youtube comment session so that i can be able to uh undo some of your challenges but i will employ you to get a source code from my github account tweak it try to build it use it in the course of your of your application and see what comes up or what uh happens with it uh, let me launch this in my journey motion emulator so that I can see the display of the login Facebook login application so I click on my run button okay Gradle is building up my application. Uh, let me bring my journey motion to the foreground. All right, it has been built successfully. Okay, let me launch the application in my journey motion and expect the display.
okay log in with Facebook read the application is asking me to log in with Facebook okay it's loads up Okay, the interface asks me to put in my username, password, or my email address for the password. Okay, let me type in mine. For the password. Okay, let me check the password again. login can you see that it's trying to tell me that yes they have been identified continue as Bamedele. yes that's my name intuitive application we receive the in follow info your public profile and friend list so I'm actually going to access the public profile and the friend list of Bamedeli. Click on OK. Yeah. Beautiful. Welcome, Bamedeli Ogutuga. So I can easily log out from this uh, interface. So with this, you can tweak this uh, welcome page to be your home screen or the default screen or any any page you want to be in your application you can use this login um, in the, uh, capability in the course of any of your application being built you can as well use the Facebook share and the like button this is very 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 useful with this you can easily log out from the application and you have no worries for coding the front end and the back end on maintaining users information you can use this in the course of your application thank you very much for listening and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful day bye bye